So as I get older, I start realizing these opportunities are so few and far between, right? And you have these windows in sports. I don't care what sport it is, but it feels like it's hyper sped up in football more than any other. And I look back, like, let's say the Jacksonville Jaguars, right? right. Just a couple of years ago. And you'd say to yourself, They're, they've got a nucleus. Right. They are set. 2017. They got to just figure out the quarterback thing. And they'll be back year after year after year. And then you look up, and a couple years later, and they're drafting back-to-back -back number one overall. Yeah. The 49ers with Harbaugh. Hall of Famers. Hall of Famers. I don't say that lightly. Hall of Famers. Well, it would have been a lot field. more Hall of Famers had they got that one Super Bowl ring. Agreed. But they didn't. And so I think that my mind has sped up to, and I love a lot of people like, this isn't a video game. No, it's not. But I'm watching the way the Bucks and the Rams have operated uh, yeah. in the last couple of years, you get rewarded for being hyper-aggressive. Now, yeah. could it burn you down the line? Of course it can. But I'd rather go all in and try to seize the moment because I'm looking around the NFC right now, and I'm saying to myself, if you get one more playmaker on offense, right. that's the difference between falling short and actually getting back to the Super Bowl. Because that's what the... If you play at the highest level, it's about winning and right. getting back to the Super Bowl. And getting back to the Super Bowl is just one game. Exactly. One game. And you got to be locked and loaded for that one game, whether it's against Buffalo, Kansas City, exactly. Cincinnati. Who the hell knows who's coming out of the AFC? It's going to be a dogfight. But you got to... I'll worry about the Super Bowl. Just get there. Just get there. And, and I'll my worry thing about is next this. year, next year. And my thing is this. When you miss on so many first round picks, that's now. And you miss on sec so many second round picks. Now we're talking. And now you miss on so many third round picks. The hell with the damn picks. Give me the proven player over the prospect any day of the week. So who's proven out there? Well, McCaffrey's proven. Jacobs is proven. Let's monitor those situations. Well, what about Odell Beckham Jr.? How's he looking coming back from the ACL? I saw his Instagram videos. He's out there busting his ass, working out. Yes. Looks like he wants to be back. And OBJ is a problem. He was on his way to having a big-time Super Bowl. We talked about the NFC Championship game. You check gets a ball on third and one. He gets stuffed. You don't go it off. You don't go for it on fourth down. First play, Stafford throws it up the chart. He drops it. Next play, boom. Beckham Jr. thirty yards. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's tack out another fifteen because Jimmy Ward hit a blade. He was a problem in that Super Bowl. I need playmakers. Why not surround Jimmy Garoppolo well, with a plethora and, of skill set, position, talented players? They're not using Danny Gray. And what is Jimmy's skill set? The underneath stuff. That's where McCaffrey kills it. Right. Like, he absolutely kills it. I'm looking right now at some of the odds. There's various, uh, you know, websites. Bookie.com, okay? Yeah. I know it's pretty bad. Bookie.com. Here are the teams that are in the mix in terms of the odds. Buffalo Bills, which we all agree. If the Bills get them, God, they're loaded. Like, they have no weakness. Right. All right? Denver? Why would he want to go to Denver? Right. Well, because he's from there? Yeah. That team looks like it's going no, nowhere. No, they're, they're, they're not going there. And then the LA. Do no, you know why he's Denver? Because he's from Colorado. Yeah. And McCaffrey, he won high school championships. Yeah, that's there. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, and then and then the LA Rams, the Tampa Bay Bucks, and the 49ers. So you're telling me if I look at this and I just take the Broncos off, the Buffalo Bills in the AFC, I don't want them to go to Buffalo because that's a team that I may have to go through at some point. The Rams and the Bucks. If one of those teams get them, that could be the difference between you hosting a, a NFC Championship game at Levi Stadium or you going on the road again. And the last thing you need is Tom Brady to have a Christian McCaffrey. It, think of James White. Thank you. Think of Deion Lewis. Think of Kevin Falk. He loves the little white guys. <laughs> loves, have you seen Amendola and, and, and Edelman yeah, and, well, and West well, not only that, but, but not only that, Amendola, I'm just talking about the running backs. Yes, no, no Coming out no of the doubt. backfield. James White won oh, the MVP. Gonna... He'll check it down all day <laughs> all long to McCaffrey, day. and he'll get 10 catches for 130 yards on your ass, and you're thinking to yourself, damn, exactly. we got to guard Mike Williams deep or Mike Evans deep. What are we doing? Chris Godwin's going deep on us. Oh, wait, underneath. Exactly. There's Fournette, and there's freaking McCaffrey. So, I don't want them going to those teams. And and to your point, everyone's like, oh, you got to hoard the draft picks. I, I get that. This team is about winning right now. Like that's That was the whole argument on a lot of people against Trey Lance. Right. I don't want to wait. I want to win now. Well, guess what? Trey's not in the fold now. So now and, let's and, pivot. And what was the first thing they said once Trey Lance got hurt? M hours after he got hurt in that locker room. Well, quietly, Jimmy gives us a better chance to win. Well, And, so, and when you say win, it, you say win the whole damn thing. It, exactly. So if you're a team that's operating in that way, why wouldn't you want to add to what you have I'm with and you. try to get another playmaker? I, look, I mean, you referenced the first-round picks, and we're just using first-round picks. Right. First year, they take Solly and Reuben Foster. And 
Yeah. And, okay, McGlinchey, you know where I stand on McGlinchey, and, right? He's fine, but he's not a first-round number 10 overall pick. 2019, great selection in Nick Bosa. Right. All right? Kinlaw, look, he's got one and a half sacks in three look, years. Question mark Kinlaw, question mark Ayuk. Because you don't even use... I, 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 that's what I I'm think saying. Ayuk had... I, before the season, I thought Ayuk was going to have a Jordan Poole-like ascension. I did, where too. Jordan Poole went from year two to year three to where he just became a playmaker. And you're like, damn, we can't win without Jordan Poole, right? Ayuk, I thought, was going to have mm -hmm. that leap. Mm -hmm. Was going to have that leap. And now I'm just thinking to myself, all right, Jimmy Garoppolo threw the ball 30 times with Ayuk three catches. He's walking off the field with two, five targets. It was like Amari Cooper when he was a Raider. Amari Cooper sometimes walk off that field, that infield dirt <laughs> at the Coliseum, targets. two targets. And I'm thinking to myself, Amari Cooper's too damn good to only have two targets against the freaking San Diego Chargers. Back then, San Diego Chargers, yeah, now the yeah, LA Chargers. Yeah, yeah. But that's the same thing with IU. I, I leave these games and I'm thinking, all right, Kittle's not getting targets. Debo's getting all these targets, but they're all underneath. It's not yeah, working. Yeah. Debo's had a couple games where he, Chicago gave me at what, eight targets, mm -hmm. two catches. Last game he had nine targets, two catches. Teams are on him. Well, no doubt. And and also, teams are gunning on Debo. So, like, That's if you want to open these two players up, you add another weapon to the mix. Like, to me, it's not a bad thing. And I, and I hear people on al uh, asset allocation, you can't spend this, you can't spend that. Man, if you ain't going to spend with this core right now, then I guess you're never going yeah. to. And what's the point of having somebody who's the financial wizard in right. Parag Marate? If he can't pull any of his magic when my team is great and I mm -hmm. want to add to the mix. Yep, no doubt. Hey, 650, you're right. Xfinity Mobile Text Line. He said, hey, Bonte said, get a proven player. Reminds me of the Giants. Get a proven bat. We want we want winners. We want proven well, talent. Win and and, and, and this, when you haven't won the Super Bowl since 94, 95, if you knocked on the doorstep two of the last three years, and you look at this conference, and I'm saying, Green Bay? Exactly. <laughs> jokes. Thank you. I take my chances against the New York Giants. I, I, I'm with Cowboys, you. they could be a problem. Well, but they could be a problem. But if you get someone like McCaffrey, you feel a lot better going up against better. that kind of a defense. Philadelphia. Or even OBJ. Philadelphia, I need firepower. A uh, 100%. That may be a shootout. They're going to drop 30. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, AJ Brown, point. Devontae that's Smith, Dallas Goddard, point. Miles Sanders, Jalen Hurts. They're a problem. That's and what kills point. the Niners? Mobile quarterbacks. Jalen Hurts would be a problem. But outside of that. Okay, you got Tom Brady, but I like my I like our defensive line against Tom too. Brady and the Bucks. Too. You can hit him all day He's long. Got a lot of problems. A lot of problems. It's got, it's got a lot of issues in Tampa Bay, yeah. and it's Todd Bowles coaching. All right, I don't believe in Todd Bowles. Yeah. This conference is so damn wide open, and you got a top flight defense, one of the best defenses we've seen in the last mm -hmm. decade. I'm all for going all in. The hell with these picks. Again, you failed on third round picks. <laughs> no. You failed on second round picks. You failed on first round picks. Maybe take a page out of the Rams book. That's all. Let's go win the whole damn thing. Uh, I'm, yeah, that's exactly Come it. And, and if you do win it all, yeah, you reap all the rewards. Everything. I'll worry about the cap and all that stuff next year. Yeah. Again, it went up $26 million right. this year. They had three games and, in London. And, you don't think they're going to explode the cap over the next couple of years? You're and, tripping. And you restructured Jimmy Garoppolo and Trent Williams. So you got some money there. All right, we got a break here. Love is we're, we're driving them crazy.